Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, group stage is behind us. Thunderstorms rumbling outside. The round of 16 is coming soon, so I think it is time to look a little bit back at the jersey matchups we had on match day three. I still want to say the level of jersey matchups was relatively high, but mm, not. There are still a few curveballs that got thrown in uh, that make me still go. Probably match day two was better in jersey matchups. I'll do it again. I will count them down. I will start with the four categories. First, the awful and atrocious one. Then the expected but bad slash boring. Expected but good. And finally, uh, the really excellent jersey matchups, which can also have been expected, but you know better if they are a surprise and then it just looks great. Uh, again, my personal opinion, I would ask you for yours. I decided to wear Italy because they're doing really, really, really well at the moment. Also, this is now my setup that I will use for the round of 16. Uh, those few jerseys, so New England jersey up there. Okay, let's start with the atrocious and awful category, which only has one member, and it is Germany against Hungary. Um, I know people have a lot of love for either of the jerseys. Um, I'm on the fence on both of those. I think I don't get the blackout trend and I'm not so sold entirely on the Hungary jersey either. Mainly because the green is kind of an afterthought. Uh, it's too much on, on, on the side and then it's all red. It, it, it just doesn't uh, go well. But black against white is one of those matchups that rarely works and especially considering what we could have had. A classic white with black shorts uh, against red, white, green. We could have had that. We had my favorite matchup was France against Hungary. We could have had something like that, uh, and it would have looked glor uh, glorious. And we got a rather monochromatic uh, matchup. Didn't help that the uh, that, that it was played in rain. Uh, probably the best thing are the match details because they are actually awesome. What Adidas is doing, and yeah. I think this was Adidas pushing the away jersey for Germany in fear that it might not be worn. However, I am, unless England decides to do something crazy, I am fairly certain that Germany will wear the black jerseys against England. So go finger, England will continue playing in all white. Now the expected but bad boring category and the first entry is was very close of falling into the Germany uh, where Germany, uh, Germany was. It was just almost expected. I expected the Dutch to play in black. I didn't necessarily expect the uh, um, North Macedonians to play in grey. However, I think that the jerseys themselves individually are better than either one of the ones in the previous matchup. I think at least. Um, and yeah, I mean, black against gray with a little bit red and orange thrown in it. That was a, it was a little bit more luminous, but it was not uh, pleasing to the eye in any way, I have to say. So yeah, despite me loving this Macedonia jersey and it got two outings, so that makes me actually quite happy because I actually got exactly that one. The matchup is rather a bad one, I have to say. I think in that configuration, the Dutch could have well played in orange as well. So there you go. Uh, the remainders in this KK category are definitely on the boring side and for me the first one is the Russia against Denmark. Plain red against plain white with neither jersey. I mean if the Russia jersey had still the blue stripe on there I think I would feel better about it. The Denmark away jersey I think is just so middle of the park um, and again what could have been if Denmark playing their home jerseys in Russia and their wonderful away jerseys? Even if uh, Denmark playing their red out kit and Russia playing the white with a blue, I think we would have gotten a really, really special one. The game was amazing. The atmosphere was amazing. The only thing that was a downer for me was the jersey matchup. Uh, almost similarly, is on, although blue against this whitish gray of Spain doesn't look bad per se, just doesn't. It's too close to black to white. The Slovakia kids lift it up. The Spain kids are rather disappointing, I have to say. So also rather on the boring side there. Then, and this one might be a little, a little bit contentious because it has one thing. Uh, the Czechs played in different shirts and, and then pants. However, why so dark? 
I mean, I really would love if the Czechs would go back to their really classic look, red shirts, white pants, blue socks, but I think the red uh, top and the blue bottom is a really strong look, but make it brighter, then this would have been a really, really cool matchup. England in all white is also a little bit something to get used to. I think a classic Czech look, as I said, uh, red, white, blue, and then a classic England look, and this would have been great. So. It was kind of, yeah, the Czechs dragged this down and I think England got, a, uh, most of the England matchups got almost dragged down by their opponents. Now, uh, sitting on the fence, but I still would go more with, more on the, you know, not great because the Croatia jersey is so not good. Um, but I have to say, the blue with the red and white checkers, this is a matchup that I actually love. I think this looks good. It's just that this Croatia jersey is so badly executed and so weird with the collar uh, out of shape with the sleeves not fitting and then on the back uh, this big white blank that yeah not great however the color combination perfect Luka Modric goal pretty perfect too so yeah and then we are in the expected but good category and the first entry there is could could have been probably the boring one, but I want to put in the good one because of the Turkey jersey, because I really like the white with the red band. Uh, also that Switzerland uses two tones of red, although I'm not in much in favor of that look, but I think it gives it a little bit more interest. Are the Switzerland kits great? No, absolutely not. The Turkey kits are saving this one, but I think this was an expected uh, jersey matchup that I actually enjoyed watching. However, it's clearly the worst one uh, in there because the next one is already Portugal against France. Uh, wonderful in many ways. It's just the plain white France look with the green and uh, red of Por 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 Portugal is not perfect. However, the Portugal look really lifts this up and I think those France jerseys are pretty clean. Just a little bit too clean in, in, in a way, but it was a nice look. Uh, but I, I have to me just not ec excellent, but I actually I like all of it thrown together. Much better was, although unexpected, I think uh, if Paul would have worn the white jerseys, I would have put this in the excellent category. But Sweden against Poland, um, I have to say the yellow with the I mean, light blue would, would, the lighter blue would be better, but I think the yellow with the dark blue and then the all red of Poland made for a pretty appealing watch, I have to say. I really enjoyed this matchup as well, so uh, that was definitely a good one. Very similar, but already in the excellent category. So we are entering the excellent uh, category is Austria against Ukraine. I was going back and forth, but... I have to say that the yellow with the red and the white goes really well. And I have and I also have to say that while it causes a lot of trouble with jersey matchups, the white sleeves of the Austria jersey against the yellow made the contrast well. I have to say this just works. And you had you have the yellow, you have the blue, you have the red, and you have white in there. So you have all you have all the three primary colors in there plus then a little bit of white to make it a little bit brighter and you get a great look i have to say this was a jersey matchup that i didn't anticipate to like and i actually expected austria to play in black uh in many in, in, uh, in many ways until i realized that yeah i think the white the red with the white will work and work it did it was a really really great great matchup the only thing that was even better are the walkout jackets for austria those should be jerseys those should, those should, should the black walker jackets, they are amazing, I have to say. And then we're left with just two really, really excellent matchups. The first one is Belgium against Finland. I mean, come on, all red Belgium and then the wonderful Finland jerseys. You get red, you get blue in there, you have a little touch of yellow, you have white, you have black. I mean, it is colorful, but it is well composed. I really, really enjoyed watching the highlights for this one. This is a symphony to the eye and it's greatly enhanced by the gradient on the Finland jersey. That Finland jersey is an excellent jersey. Fortunately, um, yeah, it's very, very hard to get. And yeah, I'm giving away one jersey. My favorite matchup was Italy against Wales. Yep, why could this not have happened in the opener? Puma, why? Italy in the classic look, white pants and everything else. Blue against an all red Wales team. This is beautiful. 
Red versus blue is probably the best matchup possible, uh, and it just works to a T. Absolutely. I would even go so far if France had a lighter blue home jersey, they well could, could, could have played in the uh, almost traditional look against uh, Portugal as well, and then this would be up here as well. But I have to say, I was taken aback. I expected Wales to play in yellow and in green, which would have featured Hyde here, here, here too. I was fearing that Italy will have to play in all blue, but I have to say when I saw this, I want to see more of this. I'm afraid we will not because I don't see how Austria and Italy will play against each other. That is, will definitely be an interesting one. I think Austria will probably play in red, but I don't know what they will do with the pants. Will they play in black pants? I am super afraid that Puma will uh, send, send them all out in their new away kits. And that would be the biggest shame of them all. And also shame on Austria for not releasing a traditional Austrian jersey in white and black pants. Because that would work against Italy perfectly. So yeah, this rounds out my favorite jersey matches for match day three. I think just, just a notch down from match day two, but still quite high. Quite high, uh, much better than whatever we saw in match day one. And I hope this continues and I hope the deeper we go into the tournament, I definitely want to see the big clashes played in traditional styles. Um, that would be my biggest wish going forward. I think I will do one more for the round of 16 and then one uh, final one after the final. And then maybe let's rank them all overall and let's see where this will go. In any case, I want to know which matchups you liked in there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!